If you own the physical board game of Dice Throne, but don't have a lot of opportunities to play it in person, today this video is going to show you how to play Dice Throne digitally. Let's get right into it. So for me personally, I do have a tripod. And the way that I do it is because I have spare phones, I just put my phone on this tripod and actually have my phone uh, use its camera here to share to my board so that my opponent can see it. So if you were to actually look here, you don't necessarily need a tripod. Other people that I've played with, it all varies, the setup. It doesn't need to be professional. You can use other things to hold up the camera, but the most important thing is that the camera is steady and showcases everything. Now, the way that I play, I host my own community group, um, the Freehawks, where we play Dice Throne pretty much on a daily basis. Um, but when you're joining in any app, it doesn't necessarily need to be Discord, but I'll show you guys what I do for Discord. So if I'm joining here on the Discord, I would be joining a voice channel. Now in this voice channel, I would be jumping right here and I would just be hitting the share, um, I'll turn the permissions on. I'd be hitting the share button. And now it, by default, it's gonna be showing my face, which is not what we want. So let's turn that around. And um, now, as you can see, uh, all I am doing is I'm joining a Discord channel and you have my camera on this phone actually sharing my board. So if I'm playing somebody digitally, um, they're going to be seeing what you guys are seeing right now and I'm going to be seeing their board in a similar layout. So the important thing is you want to make sure that your lighting is set up correctly. Now if you look at mine, you notice there's a bit of a glare. This is not super important most of the time. So when you're playing, the most important thing is that you want to have your cards visible at all times, your CP and health dial visible at all times. Um, your dice is by far the most important. So usually what I recommend for people to do is to have a dice tray so that when you're rolling your dice, um, it's actually stable and you don't have any of those incidents where the dice shake or the opponent can't see them. By far, it's most important that your opponent can see the dice that you have, your card deck, your CP and your health dial at all times. Now you might be asking, well, for those that have different characters um, that don't have all the status tokens, what, what do you normally do? You can use anything to replicate their status tokens. I've used coins, I've used quarters, you know, anything that you may or may not have. Now, if they don't have the character that you are playing, normally what I do is for positive tokens, I put them on my board and for negative tokens, like Bounty, for instance, I would put that right here. And I would always remind the opponent that, hey, you have this token on you. So this is the way that I personally do it, but I know that other people have it set up differently. So again, all you really need for my particular setup would be a table with enough of a space to play on. And if you look at this table, it's not really that big. Um, and you would need to have something to hold your phone um, if it has a camera and a, you know, obviously a mic feature. Um, with your cards visible, with your board CP dial and health dial visible at all times. And I would definitely recommend a dice tray, although none of this is required. So you don't even need to have a professional tripod or anything. You can pretty much do this with anything. And I'm going to show you guys an example of that as well. Now, I'm not the most arts and craftsy person, but just using household items, I imagine you have something like a tape, tape measure, phone charger cord, a phone and a box. And even with this alone and no professional tripod equipment or anything, you can get decent quality. Like I'm sure this isn't the most practical way to do it, but I just wanted to show you guys an example. You see everything that I'm doing. Um, and your opponent is obviously not going to see these wires. They're going to see the board. And if you're actually looking over, you still have full control over everything that you're doing. But I just wanted to show you guys an example. I've seen people get very creative with it where they'd use tape or they'd use something like a ruler or a measuring stick or something. Anything that can hold the phone up that, make it, that makes it stable, you can use. It doesn't need to be like this kind of tripod or anything. You can definitely use something like this. And I, I just wanted to get a little creative with it to see what I could come up with. But yeah, it doesn't need to be a professional setup. Uh, moving on to how I've seen other people do it. Now, I personally don't have a working laptop to showcase you guys this, but this is another example of what if I've seen some people do. So even using something like an iPad or a laptop, you do have that function of using the built-in webcam to tilt down toward the board. So if you take a look at what I'm doing here, um, you can get everything in frame. It, again, it won't look like how I showed you the, the first picture where I had everything set up 
um, that way, but you can go ahead and do something like this. I've seen quite a lot of people do a setup like this where they actually move everything um, in front for the opponent. Let me just get this in a better frame for you guys. So they do something like this where they'd say, hey, you know, this is my health dial. Um, take a look at that. And then this is my CP dial. Again, this is just another example of something you guys can do um, to set up a physical uh, game. Um, additionally, if you do have a webcam, you can do it on the flip side where you flip the camera around. Flip that one here. You flip the camera around and you do the same exact thing that I mentioned, um, but with the iPad or the tab or with a computer rather than a phone. Um, so just to show you how this is actually looking, this is just another creative idea for you guys to be able to share the board um, to your players or to anybody that you want to play with. So that's just another example. And probably the most common way I've seen it done is people have a desk here. Now my desk, I don't have enough space to set up Dice Throne, but you'd have a desk um, and you'd have a camera here that would be pointing down toward the physical board. And um, I have my mat here, but let's just say my keyboard was removed and you have an actual Dice Throne board. So if you had your webcam pointed downward on a desk with a computer, you'd actually be able to showcase your uh, board something like this. So this would be one of the ways that more people do it if you have enough desk space and you'd rather play on your PC. This also gives you the option to record with OBS or another stream uh, sharing uh, application if you were to stream the game or wanted to record the game for others to watch. So again, this is another example of the way I've seen other people do it. Looking at it from a more professional side, this is another way. A good friend of mine, Blunder, um, actually streams Dice Throne and uses his PC with his camera in the last option that I showed you and has his setup, his stream, made in such a way where you can use overlays and other things to utilize actually playing something like Dice Throne Adventures with a friend. Um, and he has that same concept where you point a camera down toward a physical board and you can actually play like this. So this is just, again, um, one of the other ways to do it if you actually prefer to use your desk space. Now, this is an example of a game that's actually taking in place through Discord um, with one person using that same laptop feature where they're sharing their camera um, through their board in a flip reverse way. And the other person here on the right is actually showing it from a top down view, I believe using a PC with a webcam on a desk. So again, this is what an actual game would look like between two opponents um, when you're playing physically um, with your board, but digitally with an opponent that is not near you. Defense, just to give you guys an example of what a sample turn would look like. So this is very easy, very comfortable for me. I have the full board um, in position for my opponent to read and I have full access to everything on my side. I have my CP, my health dial, my cards, everything placed here. If you guys have any questions or need any support, do let me know in the comment section down below or in our Discord group, The Vrihawks. As always, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. Take care.